Okay, YouTube, Country Roots again. This one's going to be a little different. Uh, going to be a little more open and uh, share our lives with you a little bit more. So here we are in our bedroom. Where I have what looks like a pool in our bedroom. Why is there a pool in our bedroom? Well, let's look at this a little bit closer here. Let me show you something. So why is there a bursting pool in our room? Do you know? Their mom's gonna have a baby. Right. Not just anywhere though. Is she gonna have a baby at the hospital? No, and here. And here. Here in our bedroom. That's right. Mommy's gonna try to have a baby at home. Wait, 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 wait! Always discuss the use of this pool for labor or birth with your midwife or doctor before use. That's right. My wife found a midwife. And now we are borrowing this tub. And there's a few other things that we have here that you might need if you ever decide to follow suit and have a baby at home as well. First thing we have here. This was $50. So as you could see, it wasn't cheap. It was not free, um, but it's probably cheaper than going to the hospital. So here we have the instructions. Here we have a liner. Uh, don't let your kids play with a bag. All that jazz. Instructions. I'm not going to get this thing out right now because I don't know how many times you can mess with that without putting a hole in it. It's not our birthing tub. And so I'm not going to play with this. I want to make sure that this thing is, holds up. So I'm going to set this aside. The next thing we have a 12 by 16 tarp. Why would I have a 12 by 16 tarp? Well, we have a carpet in our room and we're going to put this tarp on the ground. Why would someone need a 12 by 16 tarp to put on the ground when your wife is giving birth in a birthing tub? Well, I don't need 12 by 16, but it just so happens that that is the size tarp that I need for the chicken tractor. You guys have seen those videos. Now the next thing I have over here. Why would I have a garden hose in here? Well, the birthing tub won't do any good if there isn't any water in it. I could use buckets. I could carry the buckets from the bathtub to the birthing tub. The real reason I got this one, look at this one. Lead safe. And that says, da da da, drinking water safe. My wife wanted a drinking water safe garden hose for the tub because apparently the baby comes out of her into the water and we want to make sure it's not exposed to nasty chemicals. That said, we're using a plastic liner, we're using a plastic tub, I don't know, I, I guess we can only do so much. But that said, it's a fancy looking garden hose. Alright, let me grab one more thing and that should wrap up for now. Okay, so one last thing I have here is a garden hose adapter. What this thing does, all right, let me see here. Here's your part number HU12-8-12XP. Got this at Lowe's. What this piece does, here's my shower adapter. Here's the piece I just bought. Just thread it on the inside. I will pull this thing off. I will thread this on. And then those threads right here that you see, the garden hose will screw onto that, and then I run the garden hose from the shower to the birthing tub, and that's how I fill it up. Okay, so this is my plan for how to empty the birthing tub when we are done using it. This is a sump pump that I had on hand. I bought it off Amazon. So the other thing that we're going to need is a way to get from the sump pump to the bathtub. I created this. What this has is a garden hose adapter on one side, another adapter right here, and then this adapter is what screws in to the sump pump. So I can drop the sump pump into the birthing tub and screw this into the sump pump, screw the garden hose on here and have it discharge all the water into the bathtub. That's how we're gonna empty this thing. So one of the things you need to know is figure out ahead of time is how you're gonna fill it up. I obviously have a vacuum I've got set up to fill up this tub. I've got it set to blow air. So you can get uh, little foot pumps that would take forever. I don't recommend that. A bike pump would take, you really need like an air compressor or a vacuum like mine or some kind of blower. I don't think a leaf blower would do a very good job. When you go to fill this, these valves up, it's gonna work best if you pop the valve all the way out. 
reach on the bottom and pinch the valve a little bit. That's going to release the check valve so air can flow into it. So we're going to give that a shot. So the next one, this is like a little sitting platform for your wife. Uh, got another valve right here, pop that open. So likewise, I'm gonna slip this over here, like that. I'm gonna grab it below, I'm gonna squeeze and hold it there and try to force as much air into it as I can to get to inflate. It's not perfect, but it works a lot better than a bike pump. So let's try that. Okay, one thing to keep in mind, if you use an air compressor, don't pop the tub, don't put too much pressure in there. Um, be careful and use common sense. Uh, I wish I could give you a better description. Just don't pop. So the next part is where you would probably install the liner for the birthing tub. I'm not doing that today, so we're just gonna fill up the different sections and chambers with air. Uh, but I think right now would probably be a really good time to put the birthing liner in before you inflate the, the tub all the way. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna fill the tub. So you're right there, I'm pointing down here at the valves. Right here. Before I turn on the air, there's three valves. Why don't you come get closer? Okay, that, that's, that's close enough. So this one, let's take the first cap off. So this one, I believe, right here, is just a cover that keeps the air from coming out. This is a check valve, so air can go in, but it can't come out. There's a little rubber flap right here that keeps the air from coming out, but lets the air in. And then like this, this is how I'm gonna start. After I get some air in there, I'll screw this thing in, and I'll put some more air into here to fully inflate it, and then we'll move on to the next ones after I put the cap on. So I want you to scoot back, I'll do that. Okay, so that's how we inflate the birthing tub. Let's take a look at it. All right, so here you have two handles on this end. Handle, 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 handle. Ooh, cup holder. So here we are. We got cup holder, some handles on the sides, handles in the back, nice little cushion to sit on. What more could you ask for? So anyway, this is how we set it up. Uh, we'll have the liner in here. So after we give birth, again, I will drop this guy in there after my wife gets out of course and pump all the water out we will then reverse these steps take off this valve take off this valve water and the air is flowing out pretty good so we'll do that to all three of those you can pull the plug this one, squeeze it to help let the air out faster. We'll do the same thing over here. Fold it up, package it up after we take the liner out and give it back and we'll be on our way with the beautiful baby boy.